if you are growing organic potatoes, you are most likely also growing Colorado potato beetles, which are beautiful. They're in the scarab family, but they are very voracious and will eat all of your potatoes, all of the foliage, down to the ground so the plant can't make many potatoes for you. And the best news is they're very easy to control. The bad news is you have to squish them, which is so disgusting and so hard, but it hands down is the very best way to control them. And it's free and it's organic and get ready because it's kind of disgusting. So when you, if you can find the adults, that is hands down in the first thing in the season, that's your best bet. Because when they find each other, they lay lots of eggs. Here is what the eggs look like. You'll find them on the underside of potato leaves. If you do find eggs, you just want to squish them. Ugh! And they will turn into just a yellow mess and you're done. That is the easiest way to prevent them. And also be sure to kill the adults. If you, oh, and then she dropped it. But the easiest way to kill them is actually not by going up and down on them, but from side to side. Oh gosh, it's so gross. But then it's done, it's over with, and you don't have to deal with the burgeoning population of for, <laughs> voracious foliage eaters, which you'll find if you do not catch the adult and not catch the eggs, you'll find them growing. The, the larva will hatch and oh, they start out very small. And while the eggs are that fluorescent orange, the, the larva are more this copper color and you just have to go in and squish them. And oh, it's so gross, but you just have to do it. And then as they get a little larger, they get a little grosser to squish and if you but then they're still fairly easy to squish sometimes they'll get even larger that one is almost turning into an adult and it's much less easy to squish but you just squish them you have to every single colorado potato beetle can produce thousands of new colorado potato beetles so it's really important that you get right on top of it as soon as you can and you'll often find them on the new growth at the top, but you definitely want to look all throughout the plant. And I found this one earlier sitting on a potato flower. How lovely. <laughs> but alas, we must squish them. If you don't want to deal at all with them, you have another option. And that is to plant your potatoes rather than mid-spring in the beginning of June. Because the Colorado potato beetles overwinter down south and they come up with the warmth and as, if they find a potato field even a small one they will stop and they will lay eggs and they will think they are in paradise but if your potatoes haven't come up yet they're not going to stop they'll continue going north so if you wait till early June to plant a lot of the waves of Colorado potato beetles will have already passed you by and be feeding on your neighboring farmers growing potatoes north of you so you have two options. You can plant the average time you'd plant a potato, think late April, early May, or you can wait a month, five, six weeks, and plant them in hopes of completely missing the Colorado potato beetle waves. But know that either way, it's a good idea just to go scouting and find your Colorado potato beetles at the egg stage, at the larval stage, at the adult stage. Squish them, it's so gross. This is organic gardening at its finest. It has all the glory and all the grit. And good luck. Have fun. And know you're not alone when you squint. When you <laughs> vomit a little bit. <laughs>